Welcome to the family! Hello, friends and family members. You have McGann, and I have the last of the Disney Store Ultimate Princess Celebration dolls, the second release of Ariel. And let me tell you, like, money's been tight. I was not going to get it, but she went on super clearance, and I had, like, most of it on a gift card. So I just paid about $15 to get this out of pocket, and I thought, well, she's too cute. I can't, I can't not have this Ariel. I honestly think this one looks better than the first one that released, and you can see that video of me unboxing her from, like, last year you want, or you can just take my word for it. Okay, I'm excited to see this baby in person. Actually, I'm a little bit worried because I've heard some people say that they got different dolls when they ordered this one by mistake. Okay, the side says Ariel, so hopefully we're good. And it is a different color than the other Ariel. The other Ariel had a teal kind of box. Okay, let's enjoy. We've got this underwater flower that she puts in her hair, seahorses on the sides, Disney designer collection. Limited edition, one of 5,500. <sighs> There's already scratches on the box. I don't know if you can see them. I'm not a super picky collector, but that kind of stuff does annoy me when it's like right out of the box already messed up. Ariel. And again, here's a bunch of scuffs down the side. I don't know if they translate to camera very well, but they are very noticeable in person. Okay, and the designer for this one is Ro Rocio Cintron. I, I have no idea. If you really want to read it, you'll have to pause. Clap, clap. Okay, let's open her up. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna spread anticipation by seeing. Ooh, okay, she's really close. I like to have number fifteen hundred or lower. This one's eighteen thirty seven, and that's fine. I'll take it. But you know, just my preference. I love it. I get so excited when I find the number under fifteen hundred. Okay, here's our here's our first good look at her. Oh wow. Oh okay okay. Let's this one I can get out of the box because it is a cardboard window box and it will come off and go back together. I'm fangirling. I'm fangirling. Okay, okay, so cute. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at that from head to toe. Okay, let's get in really close. Okay, so we have a big flower in her hair. It's very similar to the one that she has underwater. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, here's the original Little Mermaid poster on my wall. So yeah, she has that pink flower in her hair when she's doing the he loves me, he loves me not thing. But oh my gosh, I love her face. Oh, what is her earring? I can't quite make it out. It looks a little bit like the Scorpio symbol, but I, oh, oh, it's okay. Hold on. It's a trident or the bottom of a fork, i.e. a dingle hopper. Oh, wow. And like all these other dolls, she has rooted hair, rooted eyelashes. Oh, she's got some like hot pink streaks in her hair or maybe a really soft lavender. Yeah, no, I think they are more purple. They match the dress. Oh, my goodness. And she's got a little bracelet back in here, but it's hard to make it out. There's like, I can see the starfish. Well, her hair is hard as a rock. And I love that it's knotted at the top too. That's a very cute touch. Yeah, she looks so much prettier than the first one they put out. And she's got a sheer sleeve on one hand with this see-through purse. And then in the middle, we have this, what is this exactly? It's a seashell... I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like hands or a fish or some kind of underwater plant. All I can clearly make out is the conch shell and some of the other clam shells. And she's got some stitching around the bodice, but it is not exactly embroidered. I like that little curl on her design too up there by the shell. And then she's got this really cute like mini skirt that has this flare out... I don't, I don't even know how you would describe this, but it is absolutely gorgeous. You can see this is embroidered, which is something that they don't do a ton anymore. And we've got little gems probably glued on. And that embroidery does go around the back of the train, but you just can't see it. There's such a cool ombre. It goes from like the light purple to the more wet, dark purples. I love that. And her skirt is just so cool. I love that it, it's like a dress under a dress. And her shoes, oh, we don't get to see a lot of shoes on these. But look how cool these are. And we actually get to see the stand clearly. Oh, I love her feet. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, we're just gonna, from here. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. 
I love her to death. I am so happy that she's in my collection. This is definitely my absolute favorite out of the whole Ultimate Princess Celebration collection. I don't know if she's still available. I'm hearing other people say that they're starting to show up in the outlet stores. So if you have one, go check. Anyways, you've been listening to McGann ramble on and gush like a crazy person. If you wouldn't mind, I'd love it if you'd comment, like, share, subscribe, whatever you feel like doing. It is always appreciated. And we'll do one more head to toe and say, as always, we will see you next time, family members. Bye! If you had fun watching today's video, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more, and let us know in the comments what other videos you might want to see in the future. Also, don't forget to check out our other channel, The Fan Girl, where we talk about all kinds of movies, TV shows, and even books and comics. But viewer discretion is advised. See you next time, family members!